Be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven got speed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. According to the World Health Organization, or WHO, more than 1 billion people, or 15% of the world's population, live with some form of disability. Scientists and engineers are discovering many new ways to improve the lives of those with vision, hearing, ambulatory, or other impairments. How Technology is Enhancing Life for People with Disabilities, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. Continue with your war. You are winning the title over the vampire. Rana Lim, noble viewers. That means hello in Chukis, a language spoken on some of the islands of Micronesia. My name is Tano. The vibrant people of Micronesia give thanks to the intelligent people developing technologies that help to improve people's lives. May your God-given talents continue to help enhance our knowledge of technologies to improve our lifestyles under heaven's guidance. Welcome to part one of our two-part series, How Technology is Enhancing Life for People with Disabilities. According to the World Health Organization, or WHO, more than 1 billion people, or 15% of the world's population, live with some form of disability. The WHO further states that this number is increasing due to an aging population and the prevalence of chronic health conditions. However, scientists and engineers are discovering many new ways to improve the lives of those with vision, hearing, ambulatory, or other impairments. Today's program begins by exploring some of the new technologies that can benefit those with visual impairments. The U.S. Center for Disease Control, or CDC, states that vision disability is one of the top 10 disabilities among adults 18 years and older, and one of the most prevalent disabling conditions among children. Low vision or blindness can affect a person's ability to learn, read, and carry out many everyday tasks. Let's now look at some emerging technological advances that could significantly reduce the impact of this condition. One exciting new development is the bionic eye. Many scientists around the world are exploring different versions of this device, hoping to discover a way to restore lost vision. For example, Researchers at the University of Sydney and the University of New South Wales in Australia are developing a system called the Phoenix 99. It has 98 electrodes that are able to um, provide stimulation with the purpose of restoring some form of vision. The device uses a set of glasses with an inbuilt camera, plus a device that is implanted in the back of the eye and behind the ear. The camera captures what is in front of the wearer before the device turns that image into a series of stimulation messages, firing them to any healthy retina neurons which fire those messages to the brain. So we're effectively tricking the brain into believing that the eye is working where it's really not. After decades of research, scientists believe the Phoenix 99 is now ready for testing on humans. Other versions of so-called bionic eyes are being developed by Pixium Vision in France, Bionic Vision Technologies in Australia, and Second Sight in the USA. These companies are hoping to treat nearly all forms of blindness. Meanwhile, scientists from Sweden's Linköping University and Israel's Tel Aviv University have partnered to develop an inexpensive artificial retina. 
with the hope that it also could restore sight to the blind. The simulated retina, consisting of a donut-shaped photoactive film, can be implanted around the pigment of the eye. It can then convert light into electrical signals, triggering the neurons. It is hoped that this inexpensive wireless implant can be used to restore vision for those whose light-sensitive cells have degraded. Meanwhile, researchers at the Netherlands Institute for Neuroscience, or NIN, are working on yet another way to restore vision using a brain implant that bypasses the retina and stimulates the visual cortex. While it's still in the exploratory stages, the NIN team hopes that such a neuroprosthetic device will enable blind people to regain a wide range of visual abilities, from object recognition to navigation in unfamiliar surroundings, providing them with greater independence and self-sufficiency. What excellent news it is that these discoveries may soon be able to restore people's vision. Another much less expensive technology improving life for the visually impaired is the smartphone. Many apps such as Microsoft's Seeing AI and Google's InVision are helping to make everyday tasks easier. For example, Seeing AI uses the phone's camera to identify people and objects and provide auditory descriptions of them. The app can also read barcodes, audibly informing users what the items are. It can help with cash transactions by scanning a bill and reading aloud the currency amount. It can also read aloud any printed text or even a handwritten note from a friend or loved one. Seeing AI is available in several different languages. Vegan, cause we don't love hell. What great news! We'll now take a moment to thank the Divine for all those who are working diligently to improve the lives of others. We'll be back after this message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to how technology is enhancing life for people with disabilities. According to the WHO, cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death, accounting for 32% of all deaths globally. Even when a person does not die from heart disease, its effects on their everyday life can be debilitating. However, health may be only a heartbeat away as technology is making great strides in developing innovative solutions. For example, in 2021, doctors in Naples, Italy, successfully implanted a unique new, entirely artificial heart in a patient. The implant, developed by Carmat, is made from a combination of biological and synthetic materials. While the CarMet heart has been tested clinically in the USA since 2008, it has only recently been made available commercially for use by hospitals. Dr. Marisa Defeo, the Director of Heart Surgery at Azienda Hospedariera de Cori Hospital, explains why the CarMet prosthetic heart is superior to earlier types of artificial hearts. Il Carmat, l'ultimo nato, quello impiantato nei giorni scorsi, è un cuore che ha quattro valvole biologiche. Questo già anche ai profani è chiaro che è molto più semplice la gestione. Innanzitutto non è rumoroso. La rumorosità è un po' il grosso limite dell'altro apparecchio, mentre l'avere valvole biologiche significa anche non dover scoagulare il paziente in maniera importante, quindi avere minori rischi trombotici, minori rischi emorragici. Siamo sulla strada buona per un cuore bionico. Diciamo che nei prossimi anni speriamo che ci siano altre novità e speriamo soprattutto di continuare ad essere i primi. Scientific advances are also being made in other areas of human health. For example, 
Scientists from the Perelman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania have discovered an exciting new way to repair damaged cartilage, a common problem in joint injuries or with aging. A 3D hydrogel solution, along with a magnetic liquid, is used to create artificial cartilage that can help rebuild complex biological tissues. Using non-invasive surgery, the hydrogel solution is injected into the damaged area while ultraviolet light locks it into place. Over time, the body's natural cartilage is regenerated and the artificial solution is diffused out of the body. Although still in the early stages of development, scientists believe this solution could potentially be used to naturally restore damaged or degenerated cartilage in critical joints such as elbows and knees. What fantastic news, scientists! But wait, there's more! Researchers from the University of Bristol have created artificial skin. Made using 3D printing, this so-called skin uses simulated nerve signals to create a sense of touch the way human skin does. While it is primarily being designed for use in robots, the skin could also dramatically change the field of prosthetics, enabling wearers to feel again. Professor Nathan Lepora a University of Bristol professor of Robotics and Artificial Intelligence, or AI, states that the aim is to create an artificial skin as good or even better than real skin. But artificial hearts, eyes, cartilage, and skin are not the only amazing new discoveries being made. Scientists from the UK have recently created an artificial pancreas designed to help manage type 1 diabetes, a system called CAM-APS-FX could be life-changing for both parents and their youngsters. For example, 8-year-old Eddie and his parents have struggled to cope with his type 1 diabetes. When you get a child who has been diagnosed with diabetes, it is really, really, obviously very scary. Eddie's family says managing his glucose levels has been a difficult 24-hour job, testing his blood 12 times a day and injecting insulin. Yeah, my fingers um, got a, bit, a little bit sore from having it a lot of times. The new CAM APS FX artificial pancreas system consists of three parts. So there's three components to the closed loop. So there's the glucose sensor, the app on the phone and the pump. Current treatment requires parents to manually adjust insulin levels, but the wearable technology replaces the constant poking and prodding and then it automatically calculates how much insulin should be given um, to get the glucose levels to, to the healthy range. And it then tells the insulin pump how much insulin to give. Previously, Eddie's diabetes had greatly restricted his activities. However, the new artificial pancreas is giving him his life back. I can bounce from trampoline, I can play with my dog. I couldn't do anything, but now all I have to do is have some insulin or have something to eat, then I can go back to playing. And enjoying just being a kid. We are grateful for these amazing scientific discoveries that help people live happier, safer lives. May all of the researchers involved be blessed abundantly for their noble work. 1. God gave humans the physiology to thrive on 100% plant-based foods. 2. God gave animals the ability to feel pain or suffer. 3. Animal agriculture is a leading cause of climate change, destroying the earth God created. Logically, God wants us vegan. Dr. Stephen Lohm, D.O. Vegan Precious viewers, thank you for your company today. Please join us again on Monday, February 8th for part two of the series. Coming up next is Giving Hope to Animal People in Need, Mountain Angels Sanctuary and Rescue, part one of two, here on Supreme Master Television. May all beings 
soon enjoy excellent health and long lives in a compassionate vegan world. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique GAT. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com bar inclinada GAT. Bangumi wa tagengo hoso des. Hoso yote wa suprememastertv.com スラッシュスケジュールそしてスプリームマスター TV.com スラッシュ GAT